I just got fired. <laughs> Peyton Nash jealous. She fired me because I wore a Birkin bag to work. She's like, that's not the type of image that we want to promote at this company. I don't get it. Make it make sense. But me? Because it's just not making sense. Like, it's not clicking up in the head. I got a lawsuit coming. I got a lawsuit coming. Because I've never been late. Never been absent. Baby girl got a lawsuit coming. Yeah. I was fired for wearing a Birkin to work. So, I understand that Michigan's an at-will state, but as I talked to my lawyer on the way home, um, before I posted that video, um, it's illegal to fire someone for wrongful termination based off of discrimination. Um, and classism is a form of discrimination. So yes, it's wrongful termination. Um, also, I have a counter suit for um, harmful, hostile work environment because I have countless videos of her like basically like, bullying me for like my different types of purses, whether it's my Birkin, my Bottega, even like my Louis Vuitton, which is like the Walmart of purses now. But yes, I do have a lawsuit. Thank you. You're not rich. Just say that. I just want to address this comment because I think it's hilarious. I have two cars. So why would I drive my Range Rover through a Michigan winter and on Hall Road, which you wouldn't know what that is, but whatever, when I can have a Chevy Blazer all wheel drive do that for me? Yes, I was fired for wearing the Birkin back to work. Y'all are so funny. Um, but this is probably the last video I'm going to make about this. Um, my lawyer just called me today and they want to meet with me Monday because they want to make a financial settlement so that I don't take this incident to court. So, yeah, I guess we're wrapping this up. You guys are hilarious because if I was a white woman, you guys would be talking nearly this much. When you guys see a black woman that lives a luxury life, you want to say that it's all fake, it's all on cards and credit and da da da. That's not me. Um, I have no student debt. Um, all my bags are paid for in cash. I actually, quick interjection about purses. No, they're not from DHgate. They're actually real because my pockets can afford it. If that's all you can afford, that's cool. But I can afford the real thing and I choose to spend my money on it. So, yeah. I have no mortgage payments because my townhouse was paid for in cash. I have no car payments because all my cars are paid for in cash. Both cars, my Chevy Blazer and my Range Rover. All my bursas were paid for in cash. My Chanel, my Birkin, my Dior, Bottega, all of it. Um, and for the comments about my teeth, I wear Invisalign. So yes, I can afford a Birkin bag and afford to get my teeth fixed. Uh, but what you can't afford is a good attitude. Also, I'm in school for my doctorate degree, so I don't need to work. I have a business that pays all my bills for me. Um, so being a 25, I'm very well off for my age. Sorry I said rich, and rich equates to $3 million. Three million dollars or whatever you guys said, I don't care. I'm very well off, more well off than you guys are because my business is passive income. So I don't need to work, you guys do. So for all of you talking shit in the comments, I really don't care anymore. Um, yeah, so have a This is the website that my Birkin was purchased on with a debit card, which is cash. Please to now. What to do everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we back with another lit video. We back in the confessional. Yes, we stay in lit, big dog, man. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my homeboy, Lucky Wizard Deals, who rock with me every day. Shout out to uh, everybody, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to this video, man. I done forgot my whole intro because I was just, I'm dumbfounded. Okay? Uh, hit the links down below in the description. I am dumbfounded. Now, I was going to say, I was going to say, her teeth kind of messed up. And she owned Birkins. She said she got Invisalign. So, let's let's stop that, okay? Still, I don't care, girl. Don't, you don't need Invisalign. You need veneers, okay? <laughs> like, take them out and put some new ones in, girl. Like, yo, I, I don't think Invisalign going to fix that. You need, you, we need to see that line up. We need to see. We don't need to see nothing invisible. We need to see the, see the create the the re reconstruction of the, the, that bottom grill. Okay, like, nah, that ain't. I don't care. Whatever. I'm not here to roast your grill, but I am. I do want to say, it's funny how she pulled the black card, but she's dating a white man. Girl, I don't know. I don't know. You can't, you can't, you can't pull the black card when you dating a white man, cause we know how a lot of women who date, a lot of black women who date white men, we know how y'all think, 
It ain't all of y'all, but it's a lot of y'all. And uh, y'all don't too much like y'all black counterparts, okay? Whether it's man or male or female. So uh, I call BS on that. Um, but I, who's to say that you didn't purchase those Birkenbacks? Who's to say you didn't get fired for one? I'm just saying it's not adding up. You driving a Chevy Blazer, there's no problem with that, especially in the cold, in the snow. I don't see snow. I don't see snow in this video. So just drive the Range Rover. Probably you're not driving it because it's your husband, the white man who's really making the money. And shout out to him, man. Because uh, he's, he's dealing with a lot of trauma now. A lot of people say that this uh, woman could have got fired because of her Birkin bag and people was hating on her. But as I closely venture into her videos, this woman has a grade A attitude. Okay, and if she's working in customer service and uh, answering the phones for nurses and people in hospice care, y'all know hospice care people, they got to talk to, uh, deal with family members that are on the brink of death. Okay, um, she probably rude. Okay, the way she's talking, the way she dressed in her office. Y'all got to see her videos. Y'all just got to see her videos. It's, it's, it's not office appropriate. Her hair looked like she just woke I thought she was working from home. I literally thought she was working from home. She was that comfortable. Why are you carrying a Birkin bag looking that comfortable, girl? You need to stop. And I don't think it was the image that they was trying to portray. It was the image of you not getting dressed. Literally wearing a, 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 a comforter. I don't know. I just got to show y'all the video. It's, you see, she goes natural. Nothing wrong with being natural. Look, this looks extra comfortable to be working in an office. In an office. Like, girl... I know you don't have to deal with people face to face, but is this office attire? Uh, and then TikTok and network, uh, obviously. Watching, watching, uh, what, what is it? Anime at work on the clock, and then TikToking it like <laughs> violation after violation after violation. You know what I mean? It's like, come on, man. Anyway. She does show off a lot of her stuff, you know what I'm saying? See, this is this is what you would call business attire. That little pink thing and everything, uh, -uh that ain't it. This, this is basically how she look like when she go to work. A nice office attire, okay? Louis bag, Cartier jewelry. I mean, she got it. She putting it on. So I don't, I don't doubt that it's real or if it's fake or that she got fired for it, whatever the case. I'm just saying, you know, pay a little bit more. Eh, you know that Birkin bag? I would have been like, why well, get a Birkin bag? Let me go ahead and get this adjusted. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real. Let's be real, fellas. Ladies and gentlemen, let's be real. I just, I just don't think that somebody would go out. Well, I do think. Don't get it, wrong. don't get it twisted. Rappers been getting money and putting, putting gold teeth on raggedy teeth for years. Okay, rappers ain't got their teeth fixed. They've been spending hundreds of thousands on cars and jewelry, and their teeth look like mush mouth. Okay, they done got halitosis of the teeth, and they got they wearing a, a hundred thousand in jewelry and clothes, like. She ain't the first person to do it. I'm just saying, this ain't class. And a lot of people on TikTok are agreeing like this is not class. This is not the type of person that would get a Birkin, sport the Birkin right, and appreciate the Birkin. She don't appreciate the Birkin. I don't even know what a Birkin bag is. I'm going to be honest. I ain't seen one in my damn life. Only on TV. Personally, never seen one. I do know some people was trying to steal some Birkins. They stole some, didn't know how to um, sell them. They almost killed an old lady, and they ended up in jail right now, uh, basically with the uh, CJ So Cool 
robbery, those same stupid idiots, they are in prison or, or in jail waiting to go to trial because they stole some Birkins. I almost drowned the lady. Didn't know how to sell them. Took her to a pawn shop in California. And then the California was like, what do these five Negroes know about some Birkins? And they pulled up in a 2012 uh, Nissan Altima with the busted headlights. I don't think these Negroes paid for that. And then white folks called the police on them and got them locked up. Okay? So black people, we shouldn't own Birkins. Support a black brand. There's a lady that sells fake uh, fake bags that says, wear this fake, oh, you're as fake as this Birkin or something like that. Something of that nature. But she sells them. She's a black designer. Uh, don't know her name, but whatever. The fact that she's selling fake Birkin bags with tags on it, being uh, supported by uh famous people all over because it's not about the price it's about the art of the thing and i don't see the art in birkin but some people may say some people see the value in it i don't i don't care i don't care about purses but support that artist if you want to talk about black women go support the women with the fake birkins okay because you want to use the black card when it's necessary but then you go off and marry a white man hey i'm just a messenger don't shoot me, okay? Everyday people, man. Let me know what y'all thinking about in, uh, this in the comment section. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.